Hey Leo, it's God is Puff and this is your next 48 hours for December 20th to the 21st of 2021. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Leo. What is going on with my Leos in the next 48 hours? What does Leo need to know for December 20th to the 21st of 2021? All right, we have Elf Mischief. Oh, I like that. Sometimes I see that card and I'm like, mm. And sometimes I see it and I'm laughing. So it, I feel like this is like fun. We have Frog Creativity. Yeah, you're having fun. I'm literally seeing glue on someone's hands. Like that, um, that the glue you get in the little bottle that you press, it's white and you get it on your hands and it's sticky, like craft glue. Or what is it called? Elmer's glue. We have badger persecution. So someone may be helping their kids with a project, putting little fuzzy balls on like a, um, the little colorful fuzzy balls that you put on the poster board. Overall energy is horse transcendence. All right. Um, yeah, I just feel like you are doing some crafts and projects or you're just having a lot of fun. With persecution, I feel like... <laughs> someone's being very serious but you're not taking them seriously you're laughing at them it's like someone's trying to be it's like you're the kid in the situation and then you have like an older adult it's like you're playing around and having fun in class and they scold you or they just scowl at you or they give you like the evil eye like they're just squinting at you they give you this nasty look here like oh my god there's like someone's a stick in the mud but it's like they kind of have a smirk on their face, too, because it's like they're trying to be serious, but they also think it's funny as well. It's like you're not taking this person seriously at all. like, Because <laughs> I feel like there's a situation where I don't think it's like life threatening or anything, but it's a very serious situation. But you have fun with it. You laugh about it. You don't take it too seriously. You don't take yourself too seriously. And then there's this one person who they're like, come on, they're, this person is more like a stick in the mud, for lack of a better word. But it's like you kind of pull them out of that and you laugh at it with transcendence. That's how you transcend the situation. Let's get to the tarot and see for Leo. What is going on with my Leos in an extraordinary hour? What does Leo need to know for December 20th to the 21st of 2021? We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, there you are playing around. You're not taking it too seriously. Five of Swords. I feel like, yeah, this person's scolding you, scowling at you. Eight of Cups. You walk away. Or they, they say something and just walk away from you. Because I feel like you're having fun. You're playing around. And you're laughing. You're giggling. You're not taking anything that this person says seriously. It's like this person could literally come like say something, scream in your face, and you just laugh. And you're genuinely laughing. You're having fun. And then this person says something nasty to you. You don't react. They walk away. Hermit card Virgo. Oh, okay. So it's like this person wants you to care. They're trying to get you to care, but they're going about it in a really nasty, negative way. Also, for some of you, this could be like somebody's a player. They say some nasty things and they run off. I, I literally see someone saying something rude and running off because they're angry because you're not paying attention to them or taking them seriously. I feel like it's this Virgo. Definitely a Virgo. I don't know why I'm I'm keying in on like her black hair down the colorful dress and then the black lines down the, the face. I don't know if that's significant to someone here. I messed the cards up. Overall energy is the Ace of Swords, the truth. Yeah, someone's just bitter a little bit. And it's like they're trying to cover their face after what they said. They're kind of ashamed. They, yeah, they spoke out of um, turn. I don't know why I want to say out of turn. But we have the Ace of Swords, Justice, the High Response. So a Libra or a Taurus here. Ten of Swords, King of Cups, the Strength card. I'm so tired of seeing the King of Cups, y'all. They don't, they don't even be making sense in the reading sometimes. 
clarify this for Leo. Clarify this message for Leo. Like somebody literally runs up to you, says something mean as hell, five of swords, but you laugh. It's like they want to affect you, but they can't. And it's like they run off because they're ashamed of what they said and they hide their face. Clarifying the Knight of Wands is the tower. Yeah, someone blows up at you for playing too much. And I don't think what you're doing is wrong. I think you're just having fun, but someone's like bitter. Nine of Cups, yeah, you want to have fun. You want to be free. You want to be who you are. You want to have fun. And that's fine. But someone's like want to tie, someone wants to tie you down or make you take this seriously or something they said seriously. <laughs> Clarifying the Five of Swords, it's a Seven of Wands. So you end up, I literally see you, you're like, this person's yelling in your face and you have your fingers in your ears and you stick your tongue out and you're like, I don't hear you. <laughs> you're just laughing. Because like with the five of swords, clarified by the seven of wands, you're protecting yourself from someone, eight of pentacles. You may use work or play to distract yourself from this the nasty things this person says to you. Or for some of you, it could just be your own negative thoughts. But I feel like, yeah, this person is up blowing up at you. I feel like this person could be very verbally abusive for some of you. It's like this person wants to get inside your head, but you're protecting yourself from that. With the seven of wands, you are protected from that. I feel that you're going to stand up for yourself or this is how you do it. That's because it's like this person wants to take you out of character. It's like they want you to be more serious or they want you to be upset. They just, I just see you. They see you as a child. It could be a parent as well. Someone telling you to grow up. I see them blowing up at you because you want to be free. You want to be childlike. You want to have fun. And then they blow up at you. Maybe they feel like they work and you play or maybe vice versa. Maybe you blow up at them. Clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You may want to check out the Gemini reading. It kind of had a little bit of similar energy. Yeah, because I feel like someone's working their ass off and they're bitter at you. So maybe you have a less stressful job and this person doesn't. Maybe they do more manual labor or they have to juggle so many different things and they're angry at you because you get to relax and play. Yeah, I feel like this person has a lot of responsibilities. And they take their anger out on you, but you stand up for yourself. Clarifying, yeah, clarifying the Eight of Cups is the Knight of Wands. Again, you walk away. You walk away. Because I see you as the Knight of Cups in this reading. You walk away from a strenuous job that makes you feel bad about yourself or a boss that makes you feel bad about yourself. Yeah, you protect yourself by walking away because this person is... They say really nasty things to you, like five of swords. That's like mental and verbal abuse, or they try to get inside your head or something like that. And because they don't like that you're either getting away from them, going away, or you just want to be free. It's like you don't take life too seriously. I also feel like all work and no play is just, it's upsetting you. It's making you think negatively. Like when you do this, when you try to juggle so many things at once, it makes you have the five of swords. Like you start to down yourself or talk down on yourself or just like, or you're tired of helping people who are never happy. It's like you do so much for so many people and st there's still not enough. But also, I just, I feel like it's a, that's a part of it. But I truly feel like there's someone in your life in your ear and you're not listening. Because <laughs> they're just, ugh. Clarifying the Hermit is the Justice card, Libra, and the Six of Wands. Yeah, this person wants your attention. Over on energy is the Moon card, Pisces. It's like you're off in your own dream world or you're not saying anything to them. You have Eight of Wands. They're going to be in your face trying to blow up your phone and you just don't respond. This person really wants your attention. It's, they feel like it's not fair that you, when you don't give them attention, I truly feel like it's a friend or an introvert, or a Virgo, someone who's the opposite of you. You're the friendly, funny one, and they're like the stuck-up one. And they want to make you more like them. And they want your attention. You don't give it to them, so they blow up on you. 
and then you see their true colors, how they really feel. Yeah, because with the moon card as the overall energy, something was hidden. And in the Ace of Swords, the truth comes out. They feel like it's not fair that you get to play around. Or maybe you tell them the truth. It's like, I don't, you just drop all the things that you were juggling. You're like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I want to be free. Maybe you want to leave the relationship, the job, the hobbies, whatever it is. You're just, because it makes you feel bad. And I also feel like there's someone who's never, it's never enough. They're never happy. And this hermit, this Virgo or Libra, whoever feels like it's not fair. You're not giving them attention and you just want to be left alone is what I'm getting from this. Or you don't want to be bothered with this person. I'll just say that. Two very opposite energies. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you'd like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, a link for that is below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Leo. Namaste.